Hello again, I'm Michael Weiner, climate scientist at the Berkeley Lab. Last week we posted a video asking you to send in your questions about extreme weather and climate change. A number of people asked about our level of confidence that extreme weather events such as heat waves and droughts are associated with climate change. They also asked about our level of confidence in future changes. These are key questions, and extreme weather has always been part of the natural climate system. But as the climate has changed due to human influences, the risk of certain severe weather events such as droughts and heat waves has also changed. For instance, the risk of the 2003 European heat wave was at least doubled by human contributions to the climate system. And the 2011 Texas heat wave and drought, which was closely associated with the La Nina conditions present at the time, was made worse by human changes to the climate. Questions were also asked about projections of future climate and extreme weather. It's important to remember that projections of future climate is not like a weather report. We don't try to project individual extreme weather events far into the future. Rather, we try to project the changes in the risk of such severe weather. The amount of climate change that we've experienced to date is much smaller than that projected by the mid to the end of this century under business as usual greenhouse gas emission scenarios. As a result, the risk of severe heat waves and floods will continue to increase as temperature warms. Droughts are also likely to become more severe and in some regions more frequent. This is particularly the case in Central America, the Caribbean, and the Mediterranean. But we don't have the answers to all the questions about extreme weather and climate change. For instance, there is a consensus view that the most intense hurricanes, that is, the Category 4 and 5 storms, will become more frequent and more intense. However, the total number of future hurricanes of all sizes is less settled. There may even be decreases in the total number of such storms, and it is likely that the changes will vary from one ocean basin to the next. And a lot of people ask that the frequency and kinds of extreme weather events will change in various regions around the world due to climate change. Will there be more heat waves in the Rockies, droughts in the Midwest and parts of Asia, more winter storms in California? How will agriculture be impacted in Canada? And how can there be more floods in some places and more droughts in other places? Or should I even sell my property because of climate change? I like these questions a lot because they get right to the point. We speak about global warming, but what people really want to know is what's going to happen where I live and when will it happen? To borrow a phrase, all climate change is local. These effects do vary a lot across the world and the effects get larger towards the mid to later parts of this century. In general, the wet areas will get wetter and the dry areas will get drier. For instance, in Canada and the northern parts of the United States, we have high confidence in projections of increased precipitation, especially in the winter and spring. This is due both to greater moisture carrying capacity of warmer air and changes to atmospheric circulation that transport more moisture from the tropics. I note that although these winters will be warmer, most of this increased wintertime precipitation will likely fall as snow. In the southwest and Central America, and the Caribbean and the Mediterranean, we expect the average precipitation to decrease. As a result, droughts are expected to get worse. But the climate will continue to be highly variable, and we expect both wet and dry extremes to become more, more severe. In some regions, despite the seeming contradiction, we would expect both more flooding and more droughts. If you want to learn more about the science of climate change, I point you to the reports by the United States Global Change Research Program. These may be downloaded for free at www.usgcrp.gov. For those interested in extreme weather and a changing climate, you may want to download the special report on extremes issued last year by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This report is also available for free at www.ipcc.ch. Your questions about climate change and extreme weather are important drivers in current scientific directions. We at Berkeley Lab are committed to providing the best possible information to the public. And we thank you very much for your questions. Thank you.